Uh, how long that chick boat been here? Since uh, 2005. Really? November. Yeah. The last almost over five years. Yes. And, and you've been uh, doing this? Yeah, this system. Yeah, before it was a, it was a checkpoint further up mm -hmm. towards uh, Jerusalem. Yeah. Uh, since 1993. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that's now just the military base camp thing. Yeah. So they just moved the, the border of Jerusalem a little bit into, uh, into Bethlehem a little bit further. Okay, thank you. And um, from today was, you know, ten ladies standing there for yeah, 45, 50 minutes of waiting. The, some of the ladies, they, they don't want to go through. There's a gentleman agreement. If they go through the main line, they are left through by the men. But they, some of these ladies don't want to be so close to all these men, you know. And they don't want to be touched or anything. So they want to go here. And um, they were standing there and shouting. And we were calling the humanitarian line of the army. That's who we can call. And they were saying, uh, we've tried to call them attack the, the officer and uh, there's nothing we can do. And we tried to talk with the soldiers, uh, tried to talk with the DCL, the attack office. They only hang up. Um, so it was a bad experience today. It's, um, sometimes they open this main line at 04. 05, sometimes they open it at 0455, and sometimes they open it even before 04. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's a really good day, and sometimes it's a really bad day. Um, so, and the humanitarian line is really uh, unpredictable. It's, uh, it's been bad today. It's been very bad. I've just told them, um, yeah, but yeah. So, um, and this is now. Is that typical today? Yeah, that's typical, yeah, really typical. Um, Actually, it was more people, uh, it was less people than, than, than usual today, this morning. But now there's around, I know, no, 400 people there maybe, all waiting, um, stacked up. Uh, so this is the, this is the, uh, hi. Yep. Uh, the entrance over there, is that just for official cars? I saw the up there. No, that, that, that's just for cars and buses in general. Uh, yeah, this is a pedestrian. Uh, Checkpoint and uh, that's for the, yeah, the cars. Yeah, I've been I've been here. Uh, we, we are three months, and I've been here almost three months now. So this is the new team, actually, a bishop from England and a political scientist from uh, Sweden, and uh, we have one from Switzerland, uh, in, studying in international law, two master's degrees, and uh, and one from America, a priest or uh, minister. I'm from Norway. You're from Norway? Yeah. You speak an English accent. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you are English. Uh, English. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. What, do you, what do you do? What do you do when you head back to Norway? Uh, I work here. Uh, now I just started in the Human Rights Center at the Oslo Center. It's called for oh, Human Rights. Right. Yeah. Norway. How many people with you? You get you get a group of people coming here? Here? You? Yeah. Uh, from from that place? No, no, it's just me, just me. Just you? Yeah. Oh, uh, so very courageous man. <laughs> but we yeah, we live not very far from here, so it's uh, okay. we are here at Sundays yeah. at the beginning of the week, Mondays yeah. and yeah. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday and Fridays. And you've had a problem with the yeah. Yeah. you have a problem with the settlers or the army or questions, we, things like that. This is normal. They just close the lights and turn off the lights. Uh, we don't, we haven't problems with the settlers, but we we're visiting people who have problems with. Okay, and yeah. you hear uh, about what happening? What? Yeah, uh, there haven't been much settler violence uh, these latest these three months. But yeah. you know they have uh, the problems with the settlements growing, and mm. and thus they have to find new ways. For example, to drive to Bethlehem, and yeah. uh, and the land is confiscated. Uh, yeah. You know, and. Yeah. Um, it's it's steadily growing every day, you know. Okay. So um, and, and, and the settlers or the army, they could step here any time they like in Brazilian territory, like they could yeah, yeah, it really. This is actually Area C still. Uh, oh, it is. So, so oh, yeah, they still could come here. Yeah, and Area A and B, uh, it's more down in the center of Bethlehem. Oh, okay. Uh, but also the Ida camp. Uh, yeah, Ida camp. Area A and B. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, and but still you have 
you have the military jeeps of the IDF coming in there. You could come in this one. Yes, so, so, so in a way um, they're de facto controlling yes. uh, also it's still that, those areas. Control, yeah. 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 Thank you. But, um, but it's the Palestinian, you can see every, every street you see a Palestinian soldier. That's mm. where the border between B and C and is. C. Okay. So it's really hard to tell. On the map it's easy to see, but when you get down on the ground it's a bit yeah. more... Yeah. Cool. What so do you from do the rest of the day? The rest of the day? Yeah, other responsibilities. We got a couple hours sleep. Oh, sleep. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> because we uh, slept like two, three hours a night. But uh, <laughs> but then we uh, we go up to uh, we visit the Al Walaja, Al Masra, Badrahal, all these villages that have uh, problems with settlement and with the wall, especially. You know. So um, over that hilltop there is Al Walaja. What time do you open? If the root of the wall, as its plan, is finished, what time do you open the they will be encircled uh, like. Time. Do you want to go through, or do you want to just be here? Um, no, we don't have to go through if we can. Yeah, we can go if you want. Yeah. Just, uh, just go through this uh, humanitarian line. I'll take you. Yeah. Anybody that wants to go through? We'll get out. Let me see after the point. 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 Let me see